What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video. Today we're looking at something pretty interesting. These are four watches, all four of them are quartz. They're from four different manufacturers, obviously. We have Armalite, we have Luminox, Bertucci, and MTM. These are all tactical watches, except for maybe the Armalite. They do make tactical watches. This is their field watch. Very nice watch, actually, uh, and we're gonna do a full unboxing of this and the MTM. I have not done those yet. Uh, however, the Bertucci I have done and the Luminox. Uh, all of these are very rugged watches from very rugged brands. Before I get into it though, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. So I'm not going to actually compare the watches directly. What I'm going to compare is their nighttime legibility because these are sort of, uh, these are watches that are made for nighttime legibility. They're made for tactical situations. Uh, except for the Armalite, again, which is a field watch, but this does get tritium tubes, uh, and it does have tritium tubes on the uh, indices, so there's some hash marks uh, that are filled with uh, tritium tubes, and then the hands, and the sec even the second hand has a uh, tritium tube in it there. Uh, same thing with the Luminox. I don't believe that has a ton of tritium tubes in it, but there are some there, and then there is the Bertucci. Now, the Bertucci might be one of the brightest here. However, the MTM has a, a pretty good trick up its sleeve. Uh, the Bertucci actually has tritium tubes and superluminova. Uh, so this is actually really bright, gets 200 meters water resistance. It's the biggest watch here, actually. Uh, I think it gives all three of these watches a run for their money because of the lugs, uh, the lug span on here, it's actually very large. I'll throw all of them on my wrist so you guys can see them. Some of them, uh, the, the uh, Armor Light, I haven't even sized for my wrist yet. Uh, but very quickly, I'm gonna just throw them on my wrist, then I'm gonna do a, a loom shot and, and show you guys uh, the trick that this has up its sleeve is pretty incredible. Uh, and which one has the best uh, sort of loom, tritium tubes, out of the group and I'll do a, a, a pretty long uh, loom shot so you guys can see. Very quickly though, today I am wearing the Zelos or Zelos, however you want to say it. I always say it wrong. Uh, the, uh, the Mako version three. Um, just a really great everyday watch. Not a tactical watch like these watches. Uh, these are watches that are pretty um, pretty amazing actually when you uh, when you really consider what they can do. Um, this, like I said, is a new, uh, a new watch that was just recently sent to the channel. Um, it, it comes on a bracelet, which is, is a nice bracelet. It does have some pressed elements on it. Um, however, the, the part about this watch that's the most interesting is obviously that dial has like a blue iridescent dial. Uh, and then you have tritium tubes on there, screw down crown, 100 meters. Uh, really like chunky uh, screwed uh, lugs that are actually just uh, used like an Allen wrench to to actually open these. Uh, much like uh, a lot of watches that are in this sort of league or this category because you get that on the uh, Bertucci, you got that on the MTM. The only one you don't have that on, you have push pins, is the actual uh, Luminox. Um, so that is the uh, the Armor Light on my wrist. A really cool brand. Uh, they reached out to me a little while ago. And then here is the um, Luminox on my wrist. So these are, I believe this is 44 millimeters. This is about 45, 46 millimeters. I have a seven and a half inch wrist. You can see it does wear large. This is made out of recycled materials. Uh, so is that strap. And then the Bertucci, this is the DLC plated version. It's 45 millimeters, um, just a big, chunky watch it comes with an extra strap that is pretty awesome um uh, just a big tactical watch it does not wear small it actually of all the watches on the table wears the largest even though it may not be the largest i think that this is probably the largest technically because it has these two crowns uh but it's just because of the lug span the lug span on this is incredible and then um, it also flares out because of the types of straps that uh, are given with this watch. You can see that it actually, um, well, my seven and a half inch wrist wears large, uh, which is pretty big. And then last but not least is this MTM. This MTM is, is really just an insane watch. Um, it's 
It's very, very chunky. The strap on it is incredible. It's like, <laughs> I can't even explain it. I can't wait to do the unboxing of this. Uh, and you can just see, I just pressed the button by accident. Uh, there is some blue lights that actually, LED lights that are hidden under a little panel in the dial itself in the chapter ring. Uh, you know, you have a rotating bezel on here. It's just a solid watch. This is a really cool watch. It's called a Falcon. Um, quartz movement, these are Swiss quartz movements. All, all of them get Swiss quartz movements. Um, even the Bertucci, because they used to put uh, AmeriQuartz in there. I think this one gets a Swiss quartz though. Um, this is just a really cool tactical watch. It still has one more trick up its sleeve when it comes to Loom. I believe this also gets Super Luminova. So there's a few different uh, ways of this lighting up at night. Uh, just a really big, really robust, uh, incredible watch. I'll be doing a full unboxing on this and then a full review. Uh, they just sent me this, uh, let me this in for, for review, uh, MTM that is, and it's just an incredibly cool watch. Some of the watches that they make are insanely cool. So very quickly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut off the lights. Uh, and then we're going to, I'm not going to, I'm going to charge the watches with my UV light. However, uh, and you can see right off the bat, um, that some of the uh, the tritium tubes will light up right away. You can see there's Luminova on there, uh, on the hands uh, and uh, on the indices on the uh, Bertucci. Uh, very little Luminova on the um, uh, Luminox, and then of course no Luminova. However, uh, all of the uh, indices are. Um, uh, have uh, tritium tubes on that armor light. So what I'll do is I'll charge it a little bit more and then I'm going to shut off the lights. Then we'll do a time lapse uh, of about 10 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll see uh, how well they are faring and we'll, uh, we'll talk about uh, which ones look the best under a low light situation. Okay, so you can see I've been equally charging them for about a minute. Now I know that charging them will do nothing for the tritium tubes, so charging them with this UV light will do nothing for the tritium tubes. However, I am charging the Superluminova. What I'm gonna do is once I shut off the light, then I'm going to wait 10 minutes and we'll do a time lapse over that 10 minutes just so you guys could see uh, how long or how, how well the Luminova that's on these hang on and what the benefits are of having a mixture. Uh, so like I said, this, uh, the MTM does not have any tritium tubes. The others do, uh, but we'll do also, uh, there they will light up the actual, um, uh, lights that this actually has LED lights or LCD lights. I think it might be LED lights in the actual dial. So there's, um, uh, there's three in there and then there's a bunch under the chapter ring that light up blue. There's some white ones, um, a very interesting idea and it comes in actually it comes with a charger which is pretty incredible so uh like i said i'll shut off the light now and then we're going to wait uh 10 minutes we'll do a time lapse of 10 minutes uh, and then we'll check in uh, to see uh which is uh, the best holding up Okay, so here we are 10 minutes later, and you can see uh, that the initial uh, watch that I thought would be the brightest because it has BGW9 is on that on those indices is uh, the MTM. However, it's just the hands that have held on and they've held on pretty brightly. Um, the other watches here, obviously the Bertucci, this is the Bertucci right here, um, very good uh, loom, but the loom hasn't held on. It is just the um, the actual tritium tube. So 10 minutes, just a, a few minutes of, of charging. You do get a little bit of that loom there, but it's mostly those tritium tubes that you can see. Uh, the same thing with the, uh, the Luminox. Now the Luminox has hardly any tritium tubes, but you could see the indices there um, th that you could you could see the actual uh, the tritium tubes in different colors there. Uh, the there is a little bit of superluminova that's at the at the uh, I think the ten o'clock position somewhere around there. It's the Bear Grylls logo that you cannot see at all. 
the hands and uh, the hour and minute hands in different colors looks really good um, and uh, I, I definitely think that's holding up pretty well uh, but one of the better ones on the table I think it's between these two um, when it comes to the tritium tube so it's the Bertucci and of course the uh, the Armalite the Armalite has uh, some orientation there at the 12 o'clock is orange tritium tube um, and then of course you have tritium on the seconds and hours hands um, and that's all in that greenish mint color uh, really nice uh, really nice application of tritium tubes on these watches now uh, just for uh, the hell of it we will look at the um, MTM and the trick that it has up its sleeve it does come with a recharger and you get this which is pretty incredible so when you are uh, you know in a situation where you need to see the time uh, it does have this button on the side which you just press it stays lit for a few seconds lights up the entire watch like a flashlight which is essentially what it is you can see you could light up the other watches um, but if you press it again it is actually a flashlight this actually stays on now this is not for reading the time although you could um, and you can see this has three LCD or LED I think it's LED lights in here um, that you could actually physically charge the other watches with uh, it's pretty bright uh, and then it's also if you press it again it'll actually do a flashing so this is gonna trigger some people <laughs> uh, uh, let me just shut it off but pretty incredible um, actually I guess this is another function where it just stays on um, I'll just press that and now it's off uh, you can see it actually charges the uh, the loom actually gets charged from that light it's pretty damn bright uh, just a really cool feature uh, something that I haven't seen on a watch before um, I think that's pretty interesting and um, obviously they're thinking out of the box so uh, something fun but anyway tell me what you think of these watches uh, I'm gonna have a full unboxing coming for both of these watches uh, this is uh, in my right hand. I have the uh, Armalite. This is this is their new field watch and then my uh, left hand I have the uh, MTM uh, Reviews coming in for both of the other two watches on the table. Obviously the Bertucci and uh, The Luminox which I have not done yet uh, But pretty cool uh, pretty cool watches. Uh, I just figured I'd do a quick video and show you guys uh, some of this and, and some of the information on them uh, very interesting. This is just a this is just like a party trick uh, for those who are looking for something really crazy, something very different. Obviously, that is uh, that is something that's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, yeah, uh, add a comment below. Tell me what you guys think. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel, and I very much appreciate it. Please also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Watch Chris Blog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It does not cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. So now we're about 15 minutes, uh, almost 20 minutes since I shut off the lights. Uh, and you can see, obviously, tritium tubes will hold on no matter what because they don't need to be charged. Uh, so all the tritium is doing really well on the table. Uh, and the hands on here, I don't believe these are tritium. Uh, however, I will double check that because these are holding on really, really, really well for uh, Loom. So I, I would imagine these are tritium. Uh, I didn't see that in the uh, in the uh, actual booklet when I was looking at the watch before, but uh, I could have been mistaken. Uh, these could be tritium hands on here, uh, tubes on the hands. But uh, either way, uh, really good stuff here and a very interesting uh, comparison in my opinion. But uh, anyway, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.